Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Jordan Martin with Martin Investment Group and Martin Stock Club. We're looking at some stocks that I'm going to look into trading tomorrow, which will be September 23rd. All right. First one up is my, not Microsoft, MasterCard. Sorry. So MasterCard, um, the main thing is you swing it over to an hourly chart. Uh, we see that we finally bounced off a support level here on the hour. And we're looking at this gap above as a potential target. Um, we got an inside bar on the one hour chart. So looking for a break above there to go ahead and start moving us up to retest the open from Thursday, which is about 303.17. Also was the high. And then if we can break over that, we can go ahead and push towards filling the gap, which would be at 304.50. All right. So that's what I'm looking at on Microsoft. I'm also looking at Texan. Um, this is Texas Instruments. So I read the ticker as Texan. Oh. <laughs> What I'm looking at here is, is the bounce out support level, right? So out of a um, demand zone, right? We see we got a bounce here, bounce here, bounce here, right? And now we're bouncing once again. So if you can make a new high on this, uh, we can go ahead and look at carrying over back towards the 166 level, which will make for a pretty good day trade tomorrow with same day expiration. And then the last one I want to share with you guys on here is going to be FCX and FCX. Take to the daily. Uh, we have an inside day forming. We are already moving kind of bearish lately, right? So we're looking at our highs continuing to decline. Our lows are starting to kind of stabilize out. FCX gaps a lot, so it's a little hard to, to tell as much because it's gaps all over the place. Um, what I'm looking at is, of course, if we break this low, taking it going down to test this level, um, or if we come up to the upside, then I'll look at us coming back to retest the high, which will be here. So I'm looking at playing this either way uh, that we get. I'll look at taking it to either retest the low and then go test the previous low or take out this high. And then we can look at potentially coming up, up to here. I don't know if it'll make both targets in one day, but we'll see. So that being said, those are the three stocks I'm looking at for tomorrow as always. If this was helpful, if you learned anything, if you got some good ideas, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the Discord. So have a great trading day.